Hello everyone, I'm Ace Engel and today we are going to go through a little guide for a game that I've been for a little while called AFK Arena. So why am I making this guide? Uh, I've had a couple of requests from friends and some guild members who would just like a little bit of good advice and a little bit of direction of where to go with the game. So I've been playing the game for about five and a half months and I have been able to progress quite steadily into what's considered late game. And as well as that, I'm easily able to maintain top five in the arena of heroes, um, sometimes even contesting for the top two spots. And also in the Legends Challenge and Tournament, I am able to maintain top 50. I think between 35 and 45 is where I usually end up and mm, it's pretty decent um i've not spent any money on resources um i have spent money on a character which was albedo but that is since um, i started the game because of the collaboration with overlord i used in-game resources to obtain eins and i actually even had enough in-game resources to uh, obtain albedo but I wanted to support the collaboration, therefore I actually purchased Albedo with real money. So, but however, for resources and stuff, I have not spent any money. So pretty much, resource-wise, completely unaffected. So, the guide itself is going to be three parts. So we're going to look at the early game, the mid game, and the late game. So. Um, the early game I consider about level 1 to 160 and around chapter 14 to 15. Uh, some people could argue that early game ends around chapter 12, 13, but that's okay. Like, we, I think we can easily go to around chapter 14, 15 with, with like the early game information that we're going to get. So here we are on a um, new, new, new account. Um, so we're just gonna begin and the game just like t teaches you the basics of like how to place your heroes so this is the basic combat of the game your heroes gain mana as they do battle and you press it press press on the hero when it's got full mana and it your she does their ultimate ability Okay, and this is the first hero you get. Uh, whenever you get a fur, uh, hero, you should be able to like click on the portrait and open. You have the story, which is actually pretty rich in story, so you can read it if you want. I haven't read too many of these, but I've read some of these, and it's really nice. Um, so apparently, what I've learned as well is that if you click on the FB share, um, well, this should work on your phone. It's not working for me because I'm using... Uh, blue stacks but if you click on it and back out uh, you will be able to get some rewards and you want to do that two times at least because it will give you an early game hero that I want you to be using called Wukong uh, again you just like just follow the tutorial the okay and it just teaches you five. it teaches you how to arrange your units um, you just begin battle and you do the same thing and now you have an auto option which allows you to um, allows your heroes to automatically cast their abilities. Um, this is very useful, especially as we get further into the game. Uh, but initially, I did enjoy using my heroes' abilities manually. Um, uh, timing can make a difference. Like some abilities, I able to uh, knock down opponents, for example. Uh, so Hogan the bearded fella, I think he knocked down, knocks down his opponents. So just collect all the resources they give you. Okay, and as you wait, uh, this, this little box is going to fill up and you're going to be, as you see, there's an AFK timer and you collect. This will, initially this will fill up to up to 12 hours, okay? And then you just uh, begin, you just go through, through these. These are pretty simple levels. Um, in fact, uh, I'm just going to run it up a little for now uh, just so we can get through these things so I can show you some more things 
uh, because initially you're going to be locked out of some what again I you just click the share do. again this feature isn't working for me uh well i actually messed that up i'm coming for you okay so it forces you to level up and equip gear and then wants you to go back to the battle i actually didn't collect the diamonds but you are able to do it another way i'll show you that in a second uh, the game wants me to put another hero on which is fine like you ideally you want six heroes on the field uh, you just let the battle conclude by again sometimes it's better to use your abilities manually especially in some of the closer fights some abilities like being cycled in a certain way in a certain order can be better okay so i'm just going to show you how to get the diamonds that i missed from uh, ira i believe it is so you go into portraits and then you scroll down until you find the hero that you're looking for ira is um, oh so hogan also has an exclamation point which means you. that you can collect diamonds from his well, so you just open collect the diamonds back out and then hogan is you here hogan is this guy like diamonds so diamond is a resource that you're going to get plenty of um but it's always good to pick up so this is a boss level so they're a little bit stronger uh, might actually lose this so. uh, but that's that's fine because uh, we have plenty of experience and stuff to level up we can level up our heroes and then we should be able to do this. It seems that these heroes are able to finish off this boss. No problem at all. Okay, we did that. And then we level up. Uh, we can have a quick look at the events. Okay, so this is... So day one login, you get a thousand diamonds, which is nice. And then on day two, you receive a elite plus Mirael. And on day seven, you're going to get Shamira. Um, she's going to play a little role later. Uh, scrolls are just to summon heroes. And then in bootcamp, it allows you to... Ah, see? So share new or summoned heroes on Facebook one time. See? You don't even need to um, actually share. You just click on it and then back out. And it automatically just assumes that you've done it. Okay, so this is um, our event. That if you, if you join right now, it will... Uh, it will allow you to like get these resources which is nice it's for the second anniversary uh, just collect your resources here and make sure to collect all your resources here as well and just slowly you can just like progress through uh, the first chapter um, you have to complete the first chapter before you're able to summon heroes as like i believe it's ranhorn is under attack and the tavern which the I believe is the noble tavern which is where you summon heroes is in ranhorn so it, because it's under attack you can't actually um can't actually summon until you freed ranhorn uh, as you can see that was a bit too much for my hero i just collect the rewards um also whenever there's an exclamation point you can equip your heroes that'll make them a little bit stronger so ira is the one who we leveled up so i'm actually going to level up her level her up a bit more um, it's actually fine to level up whoever you want um, it's really cheap to get your resources back so actually i'm just gonna level her as much as i can and she should be able to carry us to the end of um, ranhorn which is chapter one i believe so once you get to a certain point it's also going to unlock this which is like uh, which like lets the battles go a bit faster especially if you're over leveled and you can push several levels it's super useful okay as you can see like we're going up here so two more levels to a boss and this is when we finally free ranhorn so we can't actually go here this is where we're going to come later to summon some heroes um yeah so just like the game is pretty intuitive um just follow the exclamation points and it usually takes you to like either some resources you haven't claimed or where you should be going um so again we just uh, push, push it through So yeah, 
Ira is like level 17. These guys are not very high. I didn't see their level, but they're not very high. So Ira should be able to completely annihilate everyone. So she got like all the kills. Uh, whenever a hero gives a kill as well, they get more mana, which allows them to um, ult faster. I believe it's called energy in this game, so rather than mana. So again, I think that level 8, Ira is level 17. So she should be easily, easily be able to like just tear through them. I think Mirai's ultimate is one of the cooler ones in the game, for sure, because it's just a giant phoenix just like ulting everyone. It's pretty aesthetically pleasing and satisfying as well. So again, we're just gonna push through, and while this is happening, There's another thing that is going to be important, which is um, the AFK Arena codes, which you will be able to use um, once Ranhorn is unlocked. There's a lot of codes uh, that allow you to... Oh, I actually lost. Okay. Uh, which is, again, not a problem. We, we will have a lot of experience. Yeah. So we're just going to level up. We're going to level up uh, Ira again, and she should be able to solo it. So yeah, the codes, there, I'm going to leave a link in the description for the codes. It's going to show you how to use them. And there are a lot of free resources. You should use them. You should definitely use them, 100%. And um, you will get a lot of free resources and a lot of free summons, which will really help you out in the early game. Um, since we have shared on Facebook twice, I believe once we finish Ranhorn, uh, it's going to give us an option to unlock Wukong, which is one of the heroes which, is, which can carry us to about level 100. And again, after you reach, reach level 100 with him, he's going to actually get stuck. But again, it's not a problem because getting your resources back in this game is actually pretty simple. It costs 20 diamonds to like get all your XP, uh, dust and uh, gold back. So it's pretty chill. So like uh, you, you can play around with some heroes. It's not a problem. Um, there's a way of uh, getting your resources back from, for example, Ira uh, without spending any diamonds. Uh, it's a little bit tricky. Quite, uh, annoying, but if you really want to min max your diamonds, uh, you can use this method. I'll I'll, sh I'll, show, I'll try and explain it in a bit. Uh, but honestly, 20 diamonds is not that big of a deal. See, I are just like demolishing everything. And we are on the. So this is the boss cane, uh, Iris level 23. I think she should be able to carry this as well. Shouldn't be a problem. If not, we probably have enough experience to level up more another couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Like Mirai's ultimate is just super satisfying. Like that giant phoenix just like tearing through everything. <laughs> Even though she's level one and doing no damage. It's just like very aesthetically pleasing. Okay, uh, it looks Ar like Ira might be in trouble. No, I think she's actually fine. And once she ults, like this guy, I think just died. Yeah, all the arrows are gonna hit Kane, and yeah, that's see, e easy for Ira. So you can do the same. You can level Ira, or you can level someone else. The reason I level Ira is because the game forces you to level her once. So to get your resources back from Ira, like for just one level, I feel like is a little. Uh, annoying. Uh, once you level up, so after certain months, you get these VIP privileges. It just tells you, like, it gives you some rewards, gives you extra rewards. Um, this, I'll show you how to get this as well in a second. Um, so you can go once you've beaten Kane, you can go to the le next uh, chapter, which is awesome. So like here, here we have Ranhorn unlocked. So shows you how to summon. Your first summon is guaranteed elite. Let's see if there's anything good. Respin is not the greatest guy, but you know what? It's an elite. I'll take my 100 diamonds. Um, and then, yeah, I'll just back out and then go back to the campaign. I 
Okay, you just like summon the hero at the tavern. So you should try and do your daily quests. Like by the end here, you get a scroll, you get diamonds and stuff. And as you level up, your rewards increase. Acquire a elite hero. You should try and like, if you try and complete these, um, these milestones, it's going, it's going to generally lead you in the right direction. Okay, so we, if we look at events here, we have Wu Kong the Monkey King, which since we shared twice, we are able to collect it. Victory. Oh, I forgot to collect his diamonds. Hold on. Victory. There we go. Gonna get his diamonds. So what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to reset Ira straight away. Complete chapter one. Yeah, you just want to try and complete these bootcamp events and the divine line shrines upon you, which is just like the login event, login seven days in a row. Is it a row? I think it's just like after each. I think this just keeps going even if you don't log in every day. But it logging once a day, like to like collect your rewards, it's is a good idea. Um. Oh yeah. So since we got the VIP report, you click on here, and there you go. You have sixty blue souls, which gives you a rare hero. Um, so there's usually like good stuff here. Um, that you can collect for free okay so to activate the stones you go over to your bag you click here and you summon and so yes actually that's that's a great a guy to actually pull because he's going to be one of our early game carries so that works out pretty well but before we do that we actually have I'm, I'm just clicking on here to see why. Oh, the wish list. We're gonna work on the wish list in a, in a second. Okay. So I'm actually going to reset Ira. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, the green heroes you can retire. They are actually useless. So auto automatically try a new common heroes. You should click on that, and I'm going to retire this guy. He's gone and just gives you resources like these hero tokens can be used later in the store. Okay, so we need to complete some more things. Okay, so here we have Wukong. So we got Wukong and we're just going to level him. As far as level 100, like we're going to just dump all our resources on him and he is going to be able to just carry us for quite a while actually. I'm not sure exactly how long. So here we a little bit. Um, We're a little bit restricted by gold, but okay. What we're gonna do? We're just gonna equip our guys a bit, and Sarius as well. He's going to come into play a little bit later. So you're gonna see the Wukong here. Uh, what you can do is when you have like a number of the same, the same factions. Like for example, these green ones are Wilders. These are Lightborn, uh, if you have like for example, and the celestials they they count as any like so like if there's three light bearers it will attach itself to light bearers and be three light bearers, so so let's let's imagine there's three light bearers and two wilders that gives you a bonus of three heroes of one faction and two heroes of another faction, so it's kind of like just uh, just a copy, how you can think of it as a, that. So one of the reasons Wukong is so good is like, see, his uh, energy is full, he will out, and then he just multiplies and just like, he just like, kills everyone. Even surrounded by level 1 heroes, he's able to pretty much solo parry when he's over leveled a bit. So, just, this, this is a really easy way to get through the super super early game it is wukong to level 100 okay. okay so i'm not going to do too much more of this um and what we're going to do now is i'm going to explain to you how i would have uh, gotten my resources back from Ira. so um, actually, I think I'm going to go in another account for that where I have a few more heroes So it's easier, e easier to explain how ascension works um, Oh yeah, before that actually, let's do the wish list. Okay 
I think I'm actually going to take a break here. Okay, so just going to quickly go over the wish list. Um, I've made some changes to it uh, already. Um, so the wish list just increased, like if whichever heroes you put on the wish list are more likely to be the elites that you summon. Uh, I think the first three heroes in all, all of these are pretty inarguable. Even more summons, like, even more heroes. La, la, la. <sighs> Shut up, Dolly, please. Um, okay so the first three heroes pretty much should be inarguable i don't think anyone can say that they shouldn't be on the list the last two for example cecilia and Estrella, could be argued that you can have different heroes um again uh, sophia kren and Skriev, no one can argue that they shouldn't be on your wish list with uh, same with aaron tassie oh and Lyca. Gosh, and same with the Greyforns. I think I'm just going to mute uh, the game for a bit because Dolly is being a little bit obnoxious. Actually, I'll just turn it down a lot. Okay. Uh, Saurus is super good for boss fights, but then again, there's a new meta like forming with the new hero, Raku, this, uh, this fella. Um, yeah, and uh, I think whenever you get the chance, try and get as many of Rowan copies as possible, this, this little fella. Like you, he is literally the best support in the game, and you want him built no matter what in any configuration. Like you want him built uh, before anyone like grabs a pitchfork and tries to burn me at the stake for having Shamira here. There's a very good reason for this. Uh, I will go over that later. It's actually not that relevant now, but have her in your uh, list, please. Okay, uh, another thing that you should do. Uh, I'm not sure what. Oh, this is just like you can have different dollies. I think uh, I don't have this one on this account. There was also Marco players for a while. Also, I just saw that you also have joyous summons available, which log in three days and get 100 free summons, which is super nice. I just collect these. You will get these scrolls and then you, you can use them as summons later or could use them now, but I'm going to do it in a little bit. Also, I've gone ahead and done the codes that I was talking about, like you, um, it's going to be linked in the description and uh, you go to the website, you put in this code, you have to put this code in and then it sends you a mail to your bag, well, not to your bag, to your in-game mail. And then you need to put that code, the code that they send you into this mail, you have to put it on the website. And then you need to put in a bunch of codes, which I will again have in the description. And you can get like a bunch of free resources, which is like absolutely amazing. Gives you a lot of free summons, a lot of diamonds, some resources, which will really help you out in the early game. Okay. But make sure before you do your summons to sort out your wish list. Honestly, like there's some like heroes that you don't want for example rigby and stuff uh, or oscar they're not very uh, they don't really stand on their own uh, honestly there can be an argument made that lucius is super nice to have early he doesn't really fall off till super super late game um i'm i'm still in late game i still find use for him in some some teams you know some some lineups like he is what helps me get through the level etc okay i uh, just trying to remember what i need to talk about next yeah we've done wish list and okay since we've done the wish list um uh if okay we have done the wish list but if anyone wants to talk about the wishlist with me or wants to discuss it, um, there is definitely things that can be changed. It, in end of the day, like it's not end all, like that you need these heroes on the wishlist. This is a good set of heroes to have on your wishlist. Um, these are like strong heroes. These are heroes with uses. Um, but again, it can be argued that some of these heroes shouldn't be on there, but it can also be argued that they should be on there. So if you want a more like personalized wishlist, then go ahead contact me i'm actually going to remove uh, bunny boy and uh, get rock one but uh, the bunny boy is actually pretty good for some of the bosses uh, 
like and one of the common bosses uh, called Soren as well he's pretty good for that um, otherwise I'm pretty happy with him uh, do I want to change his stroller for someone mm. I'm actually going to put Fox on as well uh, I would recommend you stick with the initial um, wish list that you saw that I had but if you don't want to that's fine as well uh, again you can leave comments uh, you can like later on I'll show you my guild you can join my guild and PM me and we can discuss it as well like if you're one of my uh, IRL friends you can just like talk to me as well but we've got a lot of resources now so just gonna do some summons uh, hopefully we'll get some something decent okay uh, an epic on our first draw that's super nice okay so Aaron very good carry uh, he's one of the stronger carries actually I say remember to just collect your resources uh, do your uh, Facebook share because there's a boot camp mission for which you'll get dust okay oh a double epic on my first go oh my god okay Damon is one of the strongest like heroes um, He's not fantastic early game, but he's not terrible either, but he's one of the late game absolute beasts. So if you can get demons, it's absolutely fantastic. So actually a very good first open. Okay, now it's probably gonna lull a bit. Uh, yeah, just like blues, which is fine. The greens are just gonna auto retire and I'm going to get resources for them. Um, yeah, just gonna wrap it turn. Oh, and another relief, not too bad okay titus is not bad he is a decent hero i like him he's uh one of his characteristics is that he runs into the enemy and he fears them which like allows like uh, allows disruption and uh, his ultimate uh, like dives the back line and he takes less damage very nice hero oh okay another lead so i'm getting actually pretty lucky with my leads it's actually not that common okay another aaron absolutely excellent i do like aaron i don't know how many facebook shares we have to do so i just keep clicking them anyway um i i don't know what to say honestly like these these rates are really just really good like usually you're guaranteed to get an elite every third pull yeah every third temple but i'm getting them like very very um very frequently so that's super nice so i am going to i wish i had this this luck on my main account again okay I'm, I'm just super lucky today i guess another daemon double aaron and double freaking daemon ah uh, that is actually absolutely fantastic okay so like uh, one uh, after some summons like this fills up and you get some resources which is super nice um, also diamonds you mainly want to use them for summons um, I am going to just use up my diamonds as well just to like get as many summons as possible okay it's not as lucky anymore but I will keep going okay see this is this is more normal two two pulls with no elites and then on the third you should be guaranteed an elite yeah so that's the guaranteed elite uh, Fox is super nice um, the reason I like him one of the things is his, his design is super cool obviously like he's got a crossbow he's got a fucking um, coffin as well so he is able to uh, lock one enemy in his coffin which is like this ability Fox uh, to the highest rating that locks them in this coffin for seven seconds so it basically just takes them out of the fight for seven seconds which is like absolutely huge uh okay i think i'm out of diamonds now which is fine okay so really nice rate i would say i got some really really awesome awesome heroes um okay so next what we're going to do is oh yeah you so you have weekly quests as well try and complete them um campaign acquire 10 heroes acquire 10 heroes see they're just like it just gives you a lot of resources so make sure to do the 8k arena codes you just get a lot of resources for free you can do auto ascend auto ascend is fine to do because it just basically in fact i'm just going to do it manually okay just so i can show you so two elite copies like combined will make an elite plus okay so pretty simple so i've got two aerons two daemons so these are so i have now two elite plus copies uh 
this will be important for when you like reach certain levels for example once you reach level 100 in the elite pro game uh, stuck i believe at level 100 so an elite plus will be able to level past level 100 which is why wukong is going to get stuck at level 100 because uh, it's not super easy to get copies of him but he's so strong early that it's absolutely fine to take him to 100 to carry you through the early and then reset him for the 20 diamonds and just get those resources back and then you can put them into a another carry that you will be using okay so here we have so to go from rare to rare plus you need three copies okay so for example these three uh, when you ascend them they will combine so the way we would have gotten back the resources from ira would be to use a new copy like let's say this is the level two copy yeah we would use this one and then use the level two copy to be fed into this copy and you would return the resources from the level two would be returned when you ascend like this uh, if that wasn't very clear uh, just leave a comment below and i'll try and make a separate video to explain it a little better i can uh, i might even just like actually like level someone and show you how how the resources are returned so you can actually see it so like um, um so so you can visually like see it which makes it easier you can auto auto sending is fine it just like makes rares into rare pluses and elites into elite pluses if you're able to do it uh, smart send stay away from this one stay away from this for now uh i think i should make an ascension video ascension specific video or maybe it will be part of this video i'm not sure i haven't decided on that yet okay so what have we got what's the plan now Okay, so we are actually going to talk a little bit about fodder now. Okay, so there's two main tier of heroes. There's three tiers really, but like I said before, the green heroes are garbage and you should just retire them. Okay, so. Okay, so what we're going to do now. So we have here the ascended tier heroes. These are the cream of the crop these are the heroes you want uh, fox is an ascended tier hero titus is ascended tier a1 respin's an ascended tier even though he's not the best he's still an ascended tier hero uh, eyes all daemon okay and then we have the legendary tier heroes okay and finally the common tier heroes and these are the ones that you, when you go to the rickety card and you've clicked auto retire these just like disappear as soon as they summon and you get some resources for this okay these legendary tier heroes are the ones you want to use for fodder okay so you can always come back to portraits and have a look and these are literally the ones that are not too important and they're pretty easy to get okay they're pretty common and the ascended tier heroes these are the, the ones that usually spawn straight as elite like well not usually always they spawn as elite and these are the ones that are going to carry you in the mid and late game okay legendary tier heroes they can be useful early game but once you pass the early game once you get to mid game these are just going to be fodder okay never use an ascended tier hero as fodder for a legendary tier hero because that's just going to hurt my soul okay all right so let's talk about what fodder actually is okay so we if we go to the temple of ascension here we have like for example let's go to the maulers okay and what we want to do here is for example Saveus. this this is like someone i talked about earlier okay he is going to be most likely if you get him you should get a surveyors like with all the summons from your uh, codes and the joyous summons and everything you should get uh, get a surveyors and he is the hero that is going to carry you from level 100 to 160 so which is after wukong gets stuck all right 
um, but to get him to let him be able to level past level 100 we are going to have to make him an elite plus and how are we going to do that so here as you can see it shows that i require two rare plus heroes to ascend him and i'm going to use this guy what's his name his name is Gollus. yeah you he's he's fine he's a legendary tier heroes as you could see on the portraits he's a legendary tier hero you you're fine to use him and this is what's what what what, what we mean when we talk about fodder like we're using Gollus as fodder to ascend surveyors okay so here it says the ascension details it consumes these two Gollus's and it makes surveyors an elite okay and then once we have him as elite we're going to need another elite surveyors to make him elite plus so here we have we once we get one more surveyors he'll be rare plus and then we will need to wait for some other four ankira is fine to this ankira is fine to fodder because she's a uh, legendary tier so just remember if you want to see who is fodder you just go here and then the the fodder for um the maulers which is these th th this little sun sun icon sun disc i believe it is a sun disc icon Gollus, Ankira, and Saveus are the fodder. And despite Saveus technically being fodder, he can still carry to you to level, uh, till around level 160 to about level chapter 14, 15, uh, which is when we will start using ascended tier heroes because as they level up, they unlock more abilities, which is where their strength really lies, is with more abilities. Before that, Saveus is an absolute beast okay uh, I hope that explanation was clear enough um, if it wasn't I can make another video explaining or I can link you guys to some more specific guides about it okay um, so what I want to do at the moment is actually just level Wukong a little bit more as much as I can so I think this will go up to about 60 and then it's going to tell me to have a lot of heroes oh is it okay so i'm out of xp here so maybe it's 80 at level 80 it's going to tell me that the other heroes need to be level 60 or something which is fine then you level the other heroes um uh, just collecting some resources okay and uh what i actually want right now is i want to get a level 10 because we're going to quickly talk about guilds um, it's uh, good to join a guild as soon as you can uh, because you it allows you to do boss boss hunts like guild hunts and these are like boss fights which give you uh, money they give you gold they give you they give you gold and they give you guild coins and guild coins are going to be super important to stack up because you will need them to buy uh, weapons and armor and basically equipment however you don't want to use your guild coins all early you want to wait till around chapter 16 i believe it is where you're going to start getting mythic gear which is the best gear in the game uh, it's really not worth uh, it's really not worth getting gear before that since like mythic gear is just the best gear and it's just best like you're going to get like uh, gear from like uh, completing stages you're going to get it from afk rewards and in the meantime that's absolutely fine and then you really just want to save your guild coins up for uh, mythic gear okay so this is the arcane labyrinth uh, it opens every three days and you just like you for example click on here then you make your way through uh wukong should be able to just uh, clear clear through and you're going to get a currency called labyrinth coins which you can then use in the labyrinth uh, store um, it's fine not to buy anything yet um, hold on this not open yet okay 2.8 so i need i think it's three more stages before that's unlocked okay so at the moment i would say just save up your 
coins initially in the early game. I will go over what you should buy with the Labyrinth coins. Maybe in a separate video or I will add it later or, or I will talk about it in it talk about it in a bit. I actually forgot about that labyrinth. Uh, it's actually it's pretty important. Um, it's not the most important thing but like it is definitely important because um, the resources like that you get the labyrinth coins they allow you to buy some pretty nifty things. Uh, mainly heroes like copies of heroes. Okay I'm level 8 so I need two more levels to be able to show you the guilds. If it takes too long, I might just uh, jump onto another account and just show you, show you the guilds. And uh, I think once I do one more stage, I'll, the shop is going to get unlocked as well, which will be which will allow me to show you guys some things and point out some very important things, okay? I would say definitely in your first playthrough, try and at least unlock the shop. Um, if you don't unlock the guild hall, that's fine. That can wait a bit, but I really don't think that you should um, dilly-dally on having the shop opened. Okay, so as soon as you have the shop, okay, these you should buy every single day this this resource dust is going to be extremely extremely precious in in the future um the you should also buy it with diamonds definitely that's absolutely fine uh like where i am in in late game i'm actually pretty like I'm pretty low on gold as well. It's something you can stack up if you want, but you don't have to. Um, yeah, but definitely the most important thing is these two things. Uh, oh, and remember these this resource you were getting from a retiring hero, you can use these, only use these ever on purple stones, okay? Wait till you have 18,000, grab a purple stone. That's a guaranteed elite hero, okay? Like that's just absolutely fantastic just like a free elite hero yeah, just collecting more resources okay and here we have the labyrinth store okay so in fact i will just talk about why shimira is in the wish list for us so shimira is a hero that you are going to get some free copies of okay you will get a free copy of her in events the newbie event which is day seven of Bloodborne, you're going to get an elite plus shimera which is technically two elite copies of shimera okay and then you're also going to receive her in peaks of time okay i believe you get her around here which unlocks at stage 12 all right so at st st stage 12 for you unlock this adventure, which upon completion, you will get another Shamira copy. And upon completing chapter 15, you get another copy. So that is four free copies of Shamira that you're going to get. Okay. And that will allow you to take her to legendary plus ascension. Okay. And from then on, you only need four more Shamira copies as well as fodder, which uh, which we can go into later. To fully ascend her to her final ascension, which is like the final form of ascension is just called ascended, which I know gets a little bit complicated, but I think it's just to do with the translation and stuff. Um, yeah. But these copies of Shamira, you can obtain them from the Labyrinth store. So you can get four copies of Shamira, like one, one or two from the Labyrinth store, one or two from Poles if you're lucky, you know. And it's just the 
the reason I like Shimera so much mm -hmm. is that you are able to consistently get copies from her from places and it just guarantees that you're able to have an ascended hero because once you have an ascended hero you will unlock heroes choice summons which will allow you to summon a specific hero of your choice from pulls you know like it it basically it transforms whenever you get an elite it transforms that elite into the hero that you chose so it's i think it's super important to get your first hero to ascend it um, as well as that shamira at level 161 becomes a amazing carry she's able to carry you from around chapter 16 to chapter 22 easily like 22 plus even and there she's such a popular champion like she is probably the most used hero by all like by casual players and a lot of people hate on Shamira because she is not deemed optimal but she is so strong despite not being optimal like for example Damon would be considered like an optimal late game carry but but there's no way of uh, consistently getting Damon's so having having this hero who's extremely strong and you're able to consistently get that hero just make just increases her value to me and despite like falling off in the late 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 game i would say like some people even take her to chapter 30 plus and are very happy with her but i would say around chapter 26 plus she she's not 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 very strong anymore um maybe a little bit further as well um i don't have the specifics but yeah around that time she starts falling off but then you are able there are other uses for her um there is a class of heroes in the game called dimensionals and they basically you don't ascend them you link their ascension to heroes you already have and then you can't use them in the same formation but these are super powerful heroes that y y that can link to your Shamira and use her ascension and then there's still use for her no matter what and even though these dimensionals are usually uh, time limited there's actually a, there's actually a way to like get them now which is like the garrison uh, mechanic which I don't know if there's yeah it's not uh, if there's not access to here yet but uh, usually when you go to the friends and down here uh, it'll there'll be a little garrison like tab which you click on and then you can get these gar uh, this these dimensional heroes from your friends uh, as well as that you have you have Arthur this 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 guy who's also a dimensional hero so you, there will all, and he is one of the best late game tanks in the game so there is always use for your Shamira no matter what and if you want to be really like oh but like she's so she's 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 not an end game or like super late game she's not vital there at around chapter 22 or 24 I believe um, you you will be able to you will get a reset scroll like in the bounty chest which allows you to swap one hero's ascension with someone else's so you can basically have your shimera till chapter 26 and then you can swap her for one of the quote unquote meta heroes you know like the super optimal meta heroes so i i believe building shimera is just the best way to approach the game in a way that allows you not to be screwed over by rng because summons are rng despite the wish list it is rng dolly just yeah. despite the wish list it is still rng you're not never guaranteed to get heroes or on your wish list like you can could drop other heroes you know it just increases the likelihood of it. 
and then like still out of those heroes like you you might keep getting one hero that you don't particularly want okay bye dolly so yeah that's definitely why you should like invest in Shumera. she will carry you from chapter 15 onwards to the mid late game chapters you know she will carry your mid game and um end of the day there th she has many uses and you can always swap her out okay so that's enough uh about my reasoning for shamira um around yeah that's enough about my reasoning for shamira okay Okay, now that I'm done ranting about Shamira, they quickly leveled up to level 10. Uh, there's a couple of other things I remembered while I did that as well. Uh, one is the King's Tower. Uh, so uh, it's just something in the Dark Forest. You click on it, you challenge the King's Tower. And it's a great place to um, farm some resources, honestly. Um, it's uh, fun to see how strong your heroes are as well, like to see how far you can come like you as you go further it'll show where your friends are or other people on your server uh, i don't have any friends at the moment but uh well on this account i hope uh, so, some some of the people watching this are my friends you know <laughs> so yeah it just um you fight like these these uh, formations of uh, uh, of of the king's tower and it, it gives you resources it's 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 a fun little thing that you can do see how far you can go also it's one of the things that um, that count towards your daily quests and also like completing stages on the king's tower king's tower also part of a quest so what's the next one i believe uh, doo -doo. yeah you can do these things to get extra diamonds as well there should be a King's Tower quest, no? Did I just miss it? Yeah, complete floor 10 of the King's Tower. Uh, King's Tower, Tower, okay. King's Tower. I forgot how to words. Yeah, it gives you 100 diamonds. Okay. And yeah, so I'm like, just quickly going to show you how guilds are done. Apparently, I have to show you the library first. Okay, yeah, the library like allows you to like you and your friends have these heroes and it just like if you have three like or however many like for example if this unit has three it gives you a little bit of a buff okay uh, i thought okay so it unlocks when you're level 10 and you have to be at chapter 220 which is only about three chapters forward so we can just quickly go ahead and do that it's not a problem at all again Mirel super satisfying to look at her ultimate oh and yeah there I'll show you the fast reward uh, mechanic as well pretty self-explanatory you click on it and it basically gives you i believe an hour or two hours worth of resources um, uh, you shouldn't really use that until the end of the day as in like when you're done like playing and then you can use it at the end because this is dependent on see the goddess of fortune will gift you 120 minutes worth of hero experience and gold okay and yeah because this is dependent on how far you are in the campaign so the further you're in the campaign the better your afk rewards are so therefore it's just like the best to, to it, it's the best value to use it at the end of your session i think after this there's one more and i can show you the guild how to join a guild pretty simple that chapter no okay this is stage 20 which is a boss bosses are just like a little bit stronger than the other stages 
is often where people can get stuck. At this point, like honestly, with Wukong at this level, I should not really be getting stuck anytime soon. Okay, so now that we're at 220, we can join the guild. Uh, but before we join the guild, if you click on your portrait and you click here, you're able to edit your name. I'm not going to edit my name at the moment. Um, you know what? Uh, we can play a little game, actually. We... I will name... I will use a name that you guys select for me so the comment with the highest upvotes with a name suggestion will be what i will be naming myself all right um but it cannot be profanity or anything or anything like that will be censored because um so like reasonable like um it can be something ridiculous i don't mind but as long as it's like within like the terms and conditions i am more than happy to use it so whoever whichever name suggestion gets the highest upwards will be my name will be this account's name okay so here you can like scroll through account through sorry through guild names uh what i'm actually going to do i'm going to join the guild that my guild basically which is s dash corp um which is a level five uh this is my main account acerino uh, level 144 yeah so i'm just going to click on s corp level five have fun stay positive it's a pretty chill gu a guild so you join and it then it takes you here and it tells you to settle somewhere so you can like any go into any of the empty spaces um, i'm gonna go over here tranquil location to set up your camp and then here are you here i am i am new player over here and then okay so then i'm just gonna collect my resources okay then when you click on your guild this is where it's going to take you okay and the main thing that you need to do is go to guild hunting uh challenge res at the moment we're not going to do too much damage to res but it's still good because you're going to get you're going to get chests you're going to get diamonds oh i've unlocked times two so for example here it's really nice to use times two like riz's ultimate does a lot of damage to everyone and all my heroes are under leveled except wukong um, we're going to get several chests every time you fill up the bar if he becomes enraged then you become another chest you can click on the chests to pick them up but you don't have to uh, because the game will automatically pick it up at the end of the fight as you can see, Riz is also absolutely wrecking my guys, but it's still fine to do it because of the resources you get. So 29k gold, 325 guild coins, and a diamond chest, which is not too bad. So you just want to do that for resources. Just going to do it again quickly. I'm quickly going to show you guild chat as well. Feel free to join our guild say hi you can p you can pm me as well once you've joined my guild or you can leave a comment and i'll try my best to reply or like i said if you know me irl just like ask me <laughs> so again just re there's absolute wrecking my guys but that's that's to be expected as you your guys become more ascended become more powerful they're going to do far more damage to res unfortunately i didn't get a diamond chest here but see you get equipment you've got plenty of equipment honestly you do not need to use guild coins to buy it until mythic gear drops so this is 100 okay and i think this is where we're going to end it okay so if you go in the bottom right chat and then on the top left you will have your guild chat so you can say uh, you can you you can just chat you can say hi you can try to talking to people uh there's some people that are active in the chat there's some people that are not very active in the chat but uh, i usually try and interact with the whoever is talking in the guild chat I, and if you have questions that's fine as well i think someone asked a question about uh Skriath or Krem the other day let's have a look 
Okay. Where is it? Hello. Okay, it was a while ago. <laughs> no, was it? No, no. It wasn't that long ago, was it? Was it really that? No, I think I went past it. Oh yeah, there you go. See, okay, both look good. A script works better with A1 pull com and Kren has crazy DPS once he ults. Depends on what you need, CC or damage. So yeah, I'll always try and like give advice or as better to the best of my ability. Um, and everyone in the guild is super nice, honestly. Um, so feel free to join and um, say hi. I think this is everything at the moment. Oh yeah, once you've joined the guild, you can you will be able to use the some of the guilds heroes as well to fill out your library to get these buffs um, you should do that if you have heroes that you're using that uh, that uh, are in the library not all heroes are in the library there's just some you can go through it um, usually once i've done it i don't really look at it it's it's a bit tedious I'm not a fan of it honestly um, yeah once you unlock the bounty things just just try and follow in general try and follow what the game tells you and it shouldn't lead you astray um, and yeah I think that's it for the beginners beginner guide part one of the this uh, three-part guide series maybe might might be a bit longer maybe i'll make a part two for the beginner beginner guide because arena of heroes and bounty board are still closed as well as voyage of wonders um yeah and like i said if you guys have any questions or anything feel free to leave a comment i'll try my best to reply and uh, best of luck in your adventure of uh, afk arena hope to see you in xperia soon take care thanks for watching and uh, yeah, take care. Bye-bye. Okay, so there's only a couple of things left that I forgot to mention. Uh, one thing is the game is going to keep telling you whenever you fail uh, a level. It's going to tell you, upgrade your gear. It's going to be like, enhance, do it. And then you can upgrade your gear. Don't do it. Don't upgrade your gear. It's a waste of uh, resources honestly it's like this gear is just going to be used as fodder for your mythic gear to enhance your mythic gear your mythic gear is the only thing you want to enhance and not just mythic gear factional mythic gear you know like for example yeah this item it has a faction on it so well like whenever graveborn is wielding this weapon it gives a 30 percent stat bonus so that's the only thing you're ever going to want to enhance is when you have factional mythic gear okay and gear is like you easy like there's no like you're not they're not permanently bound you can like remove it you can equip it like to whoever you're using absolutely no problem at all okay so the next thing is uh once this guy elite reaches level 80 it's going to say that the other heroes need to uh, be a certain level before you can up be upgraded and that will be a total of five heroes because what we're going what i'm going to show you now is in ranhorn is the resonating crystal which i think just unlocked at chapter five i think okay so you go here the five highest level heroes will automatically be placed on the crystal pentagram heroes from the slots below will have their levels raised so they match the lowest level on the here on the pentagram okay so initially you only have two slots but like you will get this resource from afk rewards and then you can open you can open with uh, open more slots with 800 diamonds as well not really worth it you're going to get plenty of this resource and you're going to be able to have uh yeah and then you can choose a hero to level them up i'm not going to choose anything because everything everyone else is level one anyway um yeah but like once he's 80 we're going to have to level these up to 60 and then like whatever the lowest level on the pentagram is you can make a hero equal it so you never want to level more than five heroes at a time um yeah and that's it uh also another thing the arcane labyrinth we spoke about before that has three levels so you can clear 
three floors for and then it i think it's every 48 hours it resets and you can do it again and get more resources okay and the final thing i think i i think i really wanted to mention is if you like a hero that's not optimal it doesn't matter use it use him have fun it is a game after all okay i uh played a lot of the campaign like i would say most of the campaign with eins uh was pretty strong but like at some points he wasn't optimal especially when his signature item was not unlocked again that's gonna come up in a later video but i still use them because i love the character and i'm pretty much going to brute force my way through like most of the campaign with eins even though like for example daemon and stuff like that with super late levels is considered the superior carry but i will still be using irons until like the end because overlord is the reason i started playing the game and irons is one of my favorite characters and his ultimate is one of the most satisfying things like in the game um uh, once garrison is unlocked uh, i will start talking about that as well and you can get irons for yourself but i wouldn't recommend it until you have a mythic hero to be able to unlock a signature item uh, also maybe it's not the best thing to do um, because it does require some resources but again that's going to be a topic for a later video it can be an option uh, it can be a very effective option but is it the only option no um, okay like i said just try and have fun if there's a non-optimal hero you want to use go for it have fun end of the day if you put enough resources in that hero you're going to be able to make him make them work if you, you build a team around that hero you know like that supports his, his strengths his or her strengths you know uh, i'm sure there's some enthusiast out there in the afk community that has done it and you can look to him or, or look to them and uh, and find inspiration or maybe you'll be able to find uh, maybe you'll be able to find your own way you know okay um yeah just like a little update wukong level 78 got me to chapter 5 easily no problem at the moment i need a bit more experience and that's it well thanks for watching have a great time and i hope everyone enjoys the game peace